today I'm going to show you how to create an assignment within the module that we created. So I'm just going to go into my workroom here, click on my course, and you'll see I still have my home page set as modules. And then the first thing I'm going to do is click on the first shell of the assignment I created. So you can see here, this is the shell assignment. When I say shell, I mean there's nothing in this, I haven't put any directions or content, and I'm going to start adding information into this assignment. So I'm going to click edit to do so. All right, so you can see up here at the top we have our title. We're going to just name this module one assignment one. Down here we have the options for our text boxes, our text box down here, pretty basic standard just like you would get in Google. Um, but then also you can see here we have a media, so you can import media, you can add a link, you can remove a link, this is where you would um, embed an image that you created, you can insert math equations, this is where you can add information through commons, right here is YouTube, so you could click here and add a YouTube video directly. This is external tools, so this um, has different features depending upon your district. They will add them for you. This is the free account, so this is what you get when you click here. So we have Khan Academy, Quizlet, Public Resources, Wikipedia, Microsoft Team Meetings, Google Apps, and Microsoft 360. You can also record and upload media yourself by clicking here, and then it'll uh, just automatically embed it. Uh, this is how you move your paragraphs, and then your font size goes here, and then uh, your different kind of text. So that is the beginning. So down here, this is where I would put the directions. Um, let's just say that directions, and then open the document that is attached below. Make sure you complete the document before you return to your Canvas assignment to submit. All right, let's just leave it at that for now. Pretty simple. Um, now down here we have our points so we can give our um, assignment a point value. I'll just stick with 15 points for right now, but you can also go back and add rubrics, uh, which will already automatically provide points. We have assignment group. As you can see here, I've added formative and summative. These are the groups that my district, or excuse me, my school um, uses for our grading weighted systems, but you can also add a new group and let's say maybe you are doing your elementary and you could do math or maybe it's based upon a standard so I could do M S dash P S two dash two maybe it's that's how your school does the weighted system based upon standard maybe they do it based upon subject but you can ultimately add it right here then you can display the grade either as points Percentages, complete or incomplete, a letter grade, GPA, scale, or not for grade. I'm going to leave it as points. You can also decide if you're going to count this assignment towards the final grade by clicking that box. And then we are getting down to the submission type. This is where you can add your Google Drive or really your everything you had in Google Classroom into Canvas. So we can go to external tools and then click find and you'll see here in this box we can open up it's being a little stubborn this morning there we go we can open up our Google Drive and then our Google Drive will load right here awesome so now I'm just going to find an assignment so I'm going to find module one lesson one and we'll just do this one for right now. All right, so now this is added to this assignment. And I'm not gonna click load this tool in a new tab, I'm just gonna leave it as is. 
I'm going to provide it with unlimited attempts. And then let's just for funsies give it a due date. We're going to make it at the end of the week. It's for everyone. And so you can see of course section. I don't have any students in here, but you will see that you can act. There will be a list of students eventually um, once your district adds them to your course. So you can actually click just individual students. That's really helpful when it comes to uh, differentiating um, work or even let's say you're a special education teacher and you want to assign just this assignment to one student, that's also really helpful. And then you can make it available. Let's say we made it, we made it available today until the 14th. That's one way to do it. You don't have to add these, but you can. All right, and we're going to click Save. All right, so now here you can see that I have my directions up here, and I have my assignment attached below. What's really cool about this attached assignment is when students click on this blue link, what happens is it will open up in a new tab and it makes an automatic copy. So they don't have to create a new copy. So they'll be able to click here and then over here, which you can't see right now, will be a blue submission button. So all they would have to do is click here to submit the assignment. All right, so I'm back in the assignment. I've deleted the information in the text box because I'm going to show you another way you can create an assignment. The directions that I made are actually, I made them within a Google Doc and saved it as a image. So all I can have to do is go to images here. You can see that in Canvas, um, I have my course files and I'm going to click on one and then go to upload file and then find one within recent here. Here's my little directions. It has been uploaded and then we're going to click update. And now I have my interactive notebook directions here. So now if I want them to have a version where they can view it, so if they make a mistake, they can go back. I can go to external tools, Google apps, and then find, I'm gonna do module one, lesson one, interactive notebook, interactive notebook, and embed it so that the students can see it like so. So here we have my Google slide. They can see reference in case they make a mistake. I have a awarded it a point value still. I'm just going to keep it the same and we're going to click save. So now you can see here I have the assignments for them to view and then oops I forgot to change it so I'm going to go change it real quick by clicking find, open up my Google Drive, M1L1, interactive, notebook, submit, click save, and now you can see here is the version that they can view, here is the version that they can edit, and it'll load in just a second. So they can open this up and complete it and then submit over here. And that's another way you can do the assignment. Alright, so I'm back in edit mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this embedded Google slide that I have. And I'm also going to change from external tool now. And we're going to do a online submission just to see. With online, there's a you can require the students to do fill in a text entry box. You can require them to turn in a website URL. Maybe they are creating um, a website and through um, like Google Sites, you can have the students share their URL this way. You can also have the students upload media recording where you view them. I've heard examples from teachers who um, need to hear, like an, at the elementary level, their students read. This is a good way to maybe incorporate that into a lesson where they have to record themselves reading. And then also they can do a file upload. And you can restrict that file upload to a doc or a, any kind of like a, a JPEG, whatever you have right there. So those are your options. So I'm going to 
select for right now just the text entry box so we can view what that looks like. Okay, so I'm now in the student view. You can see that there's a submit assignment button up here that I can click on. Then at the bottom pops a little text box. So maybe up at the top here I have some questions for my students to answer and they're going to fill them in down here. Now the students also have the option to upload media or record themselves and post media here or maybe they can even upload from their Google Drive as well. So you could do multiple things with this text box. That's really cool. And then all they have to do is click submit assignments, but saying you it requires a field. So I'm just going to write hi there with a smiley face and submit. And then it says your assignment successfully submitted. And you can see over in this corner, it'll tell the student when it, if it was submitted and what date. And if they ever want to go back and view it, all they have to do is click submission details and it will show their work here. Also, if they want, they can resubmit the assignment. So they can look at the teacher's comments over here. Maybe they didn't like the grade they received and they can then go back up here, resubmit the assignment and try um, the assignment over again. All right, so I've changed the settings. Now you can see they're going to submit a media recording and I'm still in student view. So I'm gonna go to resubmit just because I already submitted something and scroll down to the bottom. And now it says, use the link below to record your submission. Click slave when you are finished and ready to submit. So the students can click right here. And let me click allow. Hi, and they can re start recording um, anything that you want them to record right here, or they can even click over here and upload media already recorded onto their computer. And so I'll just do a little recording real quick. Hi, my name is Lauren and I'm the Canvas Queen. Finish and then, and then they can either do start over or save. So we'll save it if it will let us. Yep, and now I have my media right there. I can add any comments about my media and submit the assignment like so. All right, so now I'm gonna show you what it looks like to submit a file upload. This is pretty self-explanatory. So I clicked resubmit and at the bottom here, now they can choose a file within their files they can even choose a Google Doc within their Google Drive. And it says right now that it's not available because I'm in the student mode and it doesn't sync with Google Drive. Or they can do one through Office 360, which is a feature that I don't use personally, but that's why it's not popping up. But if you just want them to upload a file, they can go here, choose a file, and upload any files, and then click Submit Assignment. So those are just some of the ways that you can create assignments for your students. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about how I created this and feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks everybody.